Uh, my name is Mike Barfield. I'm a writer, a poet, and a cartoonist. Um, and I also play the ukulele, so I do a bit of music as well. Uh, if you can call it ukulele music. I grew up in Leicester. I went to a school very like uh, Sirius. The, the project that I'm working on with the students here at Cirrus is, is very interesting actually and it's very interesting for me because for the first time I normally go in and do, I do daily workshops this is the first time I've had the same group of students for a three month period actually which for me has been a, a fantastic opportunity quite a learning experience what we're doing is uh, examining the ways in which the group of students these little gifted and talented kids uh, like to access information the, the ways in which they prefer to find things out that's working singularly uh, or working in groups or um, as a whole as a class uh, assessment and information as well and we've tried all these different things and I think actual fact there are as many different ways that appeal to individuals as there are individuals when I first started they thought who is this we chose him but what on earth are we going to do and I've attempted to, to keep it quirky that's that's been really important for me because I really want there to be a, a, a demarcation between what they do in, in their uh, standard schooling, their, their usual school day, and what we do here. And it's a fantastic opportunity to explore new things and to get them thinking in new, in new ways. We've had a chance to like, have a say in what we do because we got to like, choose the different topics on what we do. Like we did China, Greece, and it's all based around like, different countries. And he does like one thing every lesson so you learn more about that country than you would do in like an hour so we have a whole day to learn about it it's more funny because we're doing more things and we're interacting like it's not always by yourself so you learn with your friends and you like can sort of discuss about it we've just been like um making stuff more physical and interacting with other people and it's been really enjoyable um, working with Mike, I think it's been totally different because, um, like Jared said, you've learned a lot about the new countries and you've been able to like explore different cultures and like their foods and like way of life and past life and things like that. I've enjoyed Mike working with Mike because um, he makes it more fun than normal lessons because you just you just sat down most of the time, but with Mike you can do practical and you get more hands on and stuff like that. I think a creative approach to the curriculum allows students more time to be creative. I think it allows um, opportunity for students to understand the difference between just being taught something um, and actually learning something. They go through a process in which they have a deeper understanding of a topic and it allows them to explore that in more depth. I'm working off syllabus. I'm giving the important thing for me is teachers have a very difficult job to do. They have to teach a certain amount of information. They have to make sure their students understand it. And for me, it's the kind of it's the fizz on top. You know, it's an opportunity to excite uh, students about knowledge about the world, really, and expose them to things that they wouldn't get through the curriculum, and to work in ways which they which time and the, uh, the syllabus don't allow. Um, the creative practitioner's delivery has been different from that of a teacher in that Mike has offered a more relaxed approach to learning. Um, it's allowed more time in terms of what goes on because they've been doing it for the whole day. So that means they can come back to activities and leave something if it's not working and revisit it later on. I learn better by making things and like showing people what I've made. Sometimes if we just write stuff down, it's sort of like you just write it down, but you don't actually take notice of what you're writing. I find it easier. I look like I find it easier doing doing stuff, and it goes into your head when you do it. Yeah, because you have it's memories of doing it. So instead of instead of writing what we've learned, we're sharing what we've learned. I think I probably learn best by working in groups of different people so I can manage to get different ideas and different ways of doing things. I think I learn best when we've got more hands-on things and more practicals rather than copying out a textbook. Because if you're doing the practicals, the teacher's actually teaching you, but if you're copying out of a textbook, that's really just what someone said and they put it into words and it sometimes don't quite make sense.
my favourite way of learning is when you put it into something fun, so like, you're having fun but you're still learning at the same time. It's allowed more flexibility within um, what they've been learning, so they haven't had to stick rigidly to what they'd learn in maths, English and science, for example, in a normal curriculum. They've been able to be creative in what they've learned and how they've learnt it. Uh, for me, the remarkable thing is how much knowledge there is in the world, right? And how much we're still connected to it. you just got to go and scratch the surface away. And your modern life is affected by all these things that happened thousands of years ago. And, you know, investigations in mathematics, developments in science and stuff. And you can do them. You can replicate them in the classroom. And you can still get the same joy and fun of discovery that you had, that those people had all those thousands of years ago. That's what I'd like to have. I'd like them to have thought, yeah, that was fun and I can do that. The feedback from the children has been excellent. Uh, the, the main thing that's come out of the creative project has been how much the students have enjoyed making and creating and building um, within the activity that they've been doing. So in terms of taking this forward, um, the biggest positive that the children have identified has been the ways in which they've been creative and making and building things within lessons. So we're going to try and create a CPD package for our staff which will allow um, us to share different strategies and resources within the lessons that they can use to help make lessons more creative and more interactive. I hope that they take away first some very happy memories and, and a, a real sense of fun. I hope and I hope they just take away from it. The school can be fun. I mean, it's serious. The school here that's given them the opportunity to do that, and I'm very grateful for that because you know it can be quite a risk taking people to do this, and they have to set aside a lot of syllabus time. So I hope that they think that they've also got a confidence about their own abilities to to find information out, and that learning is fun.